Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video on how to ship macrame. So this is a large piece, it's about 31 inches long and about 34 inches tall. So to roll it up, all I did was take my excess string, and I'll show you guys a picture so you know what I'm talking about. Um, I took my excess string that was hanging at the bottom and I split it in half, and each half I kind of rolled very tightly like a burrito until I got to the point where I started to hit my knots. Then I went to the other side and rolled that. Then I took both of those rolled halves and just rolled all the way up to where I met the actual, uh, uh, what's it called? Stick. So where I hit the stick. Um, then all I did was I had these, I had braids also you'll see in the picture hanging off both ends. I just rolled those up as well, rubber banded them, and then I rubber banded at three points on the actual macrame just to keep it tight and then I just took a scrap piece of like what's it called craft paper and I just put some rubber bands around that too. Unfortunately my post office did not have a box long enough. They did have a box that would fit it but it was only 24 inches long. So now I know that I'm thinking my next couple pieces unless someone asks or like requests something larger that I might try to keep it 24 inches long and shorter. Um, but they, she did let me know that you can ship whatever you want to as long as it's wrapped securely. So that's what I'm going to try to do. This is a little bit of trial and error, um, but I have made a box before when I shipped a painting, so I'm hoping that those skills will come into play now. Um, really what I have with me is just some bubble wrap, scissors, I have packing tape and scotch tape, and then I have craft paper and some loose pieces of cardboard. So I'm that type of person that keeps cardboard, I guess, because I'm so crafty. You never know when you can use it. Now's a good time. So my thought is that I can use these on the ends and that will kind of secure it. So all I'm doing is taking these pieces and just kind of bending them so that they can wrap. And if I can get that to go like that, and then if I can bend that over and secure that, I think that will work. And then for the rest of it, what I'm going to do is bubble wrap at the center and then just wrap it up a bunch of times with um, this packing, this craft paper. And I did have a tube from Ikea for, uh, I had a poster, but unfortunately I even tried to cut open the, the tip part. It was just too narrow for my actual piece. And I want to make sure that I avoid the actual fabric when I'm taping. Obviously, this is not the prettiest method. Um, this is very impromptu, but I tried to get fast service, and if I had more time, I would order um, order the proper boxes online. I think that's what I might do for next time. I just I got the order confirmation last night, and I like to get things out shipped as soon as possible. Um, and as long as it gets there in one piece, it's not always about what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so now that that end is secure, I'm gonna do the same to the other end. So if you don't already know, if you're not already following me, Please follow Whimsy Designs on Instagram. Actually, it's simply Whimsy Designs on Instagram. Sorry, somebody already had that name. And then on Facebook, it's also Whimsy Designs. Okay. And if you like that I'm giving you these little tips, then please like this. Comment down below that you want to see more videos like this of just random helpful things that you can't seem to find on the internet. 
and I will do my best because, you know, when you're trying to start a business by yourself, it's kind of hard. And every piece of information that you desire is not always out there. So somebody's got to start from somewhere, and we're starting here. So I am just going to message her once this does ship, number one with the tracking number, always include the tracking number. I will let her know that there was not a box available in the size that I needed, so I made a makeshift option. It's going to look a little crazy, but the piece underneath is safe, and that's really all that matters. these materials can actually be found at the Dollar Tree. I got this from the post office because I stupidly went there one day to ready to ship something thinking that I could just use a bit of their tape. They are not that generous. So go in there prepared with bubble wrap, with tape, with markers because sometimes they don't even have those. There we go. Okay. Now that both my ends are sealed, I am just going to roll it. Okay, I think that should be good. So I'm going to cut right about here. So yes, like I said, the Dollar Tree carries this big roll of craft paper. They do carry uh, packing tape as well as rolls of bubble wrap. If this was anything more delicate, I think I would put more bubble wrap, but it's literally a stick with a lot of cloth wrapped around it. Um, so I know that it'll be fine. Anything more delicate, definitely add more protection, add more bubble wrap. Do what you need to do based off of what you are working with. Okay, one more piece on this side, then I'm going to roll it all and wrap it all up in some craft paper, which is just long enough, thank you Jesus, and we should be ready to go to the post office. So if you have any instructions that might come with it, or if you are just into, I think it's quality customer service, leave them a little note. Just saying thank you. They could have bought it from Amazon. They could have got a suspicious item from Wish. But they decided to go with your business, so I just want to thank them. And if you're in the same market as me, home crafters, then give them a little thanks. Okay, so now I'm going to take this to the post office. Um, I will put in the, I'll, I'll pop up on the screen or put in the description, maybe both, what the cost of this was because I truly have no idea. Um, but yeah, so this thing is probably five pounds. Honestly, it's lighter than five pounds. I was thinking I lifted five pounds yesterday. This is probably around three pounds. Um, but I will let you know what the, what the post office says. I hope this was helpful. Please comment below if you found this helpful. Um, comment below if you want to see more random uh, 
tips and tricks and hacks for when it comes to your own business because I'm still learning myself but I'm figuring some stuff out um, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more and don't forget to check out some more videos okay thank you guys for watching bye